All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, and uh, today we're going to continue on graphing with uh, Google Search. Is actually, yeah, I learned you could actually do some more stuff, and um, I uh, had some feedback about Wolfram Alpha, and then that you could also graph with that. But I'll show you the difference in that Google Search is uh, it still has some features that I haven't found uh, anywhere else. Well, anywhere as convenient as just Google searching. So let's just uh, drag it here. Here's what I'm also going to show is uh, multiple curves right now. So if I drag this in, I'll just go to Google Search. Click it. I don't know. Okay. So if I were to go, let's just go graph x squared. Well, I can also yeah. So we have the curve. As you can see, this curve is dynamic. You can move it. I can move it around. I can scroll around. But then, if I were to go, let's say to Wolfram, yeah, Wolfram Alpha, if I were to graph, x squared. So this one isn't. It's just static. So you could see it just has basically just a curve there. So it only shows the the features that basically are different all over the the curve so you have uh, you could also download as PDF and whatnot but anyways so I'm gonna also show you, you could either you could do this in both which is pretty amazing you could just go and and just go let's say let's go squared X so uh, from this you could see this is the squared function there uh, that's squared this one is hard to see because the uh, x squared's in the way there so if we can zoom it vertically in so we zoom in vertically so then we'll have it like this that shows better uh, and then let's just go to and sign x which is pretty cool yeah so you can graph this there and sign x again we're gonna zoom in um, we can zoom in vertically drag it so you can see the sine curves better we're zooming it vertically because the x squared it's squared so that every time you go x farther it goes up to the power of 2 so it basically it's um it increases faster the slopes much bigger that's why so we want to so we need to zoom in more on the um on the z what's the y axis so that we can actually see everything clearly so and then let's graph um, something else um, and x and then let's zoom in again vertically so you can see and then what you could also do is so the, right now it's only giving the values here this is the blue one which is of the, the parabola x squared so I just click here and I go click this this is the red one this is the square root x and it shows all the values there. This is pretty amazing. And then here you can see all the values here too of the sine x. And then the green, this is just x. As you can see, whatever x is, y is the same. Okay. So if we were to compare this, let's just, we could just copy this whole thing. Copy. And this is paste. And so you can do the same thing here. This one has a nice layout there. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's just not the same. It's not dynamic, and you can't really zoom in. Save as image. Yeah. So um. But yeah, this one has it there. But so you can see the difference that even Wol Wolfram, this one is uh, has a huge database of math and stuff. If you were to go say x squared, it actually it it provides more than just uh, graphing. You could have the derivative, you could show the steps. Well, this one is just simple. Uh, that is basically it. And integral, you could see, so you could do the steps, integral of that, x3 plus constant. And um, has a minimum too, global minimum. So this one provides more information if you want to search that. But in terms of just graphing, this is just far superior like this is as a dynamic graphing that you can easily move it and it's on the Google search bar in Google this is Google Chrome if you're using Firefox Safari or whatever they everything has built in uh, Google Chrome I'm mean, a uh, uh, Google search so everything's built in 
this is this is the best one I've seen. Well, uh, yeah, I just wanted to add on to that part uh, one because I, I didn't know you could actually graft multiple at the same time. Well, hopefully you learned uh, learned today about a bit of Wolfram. I'll probably uh, do another video on on more of this, what you could actually do with with Wolfram. That's for a later time. Well, hopefully you enjoyed and um and, and well, happy New Year and tune in for another math easy solution.